firefighters in Brownsburg will soon be getting some new equipment. As CBS4's Max Lewis reports, that equipment really has nothing to do with actually putting out fires. Firefighters' primary concern has always been protecting themselves from a fire, but with increasing gun violence across the country, they've had to add things like ballistic vests and helmets to protect themselves from bullets. Suiting up to protect themselves from gunfire is something Brownsburg firefighters never thought they'd need to worry about. Not in a million years would I have thought we would be in ballistic equipment and maybe even considering handguns. The department added 30 ballistic vests and helmets to its fleet this year. No one incident led to the purchase. However, Brownsburg Fire's health and safety officer feels last year's riots, the mass shooting at the FedEx facility earlier this year, and increasing gun violence were all factors. But we have to know that that's possibility and you have to expect the unexpected. And that's the case in any call we'd go on. And preparing for the unexpected is something Indiana's Fire Marshal Joel Thacker says is becoming common practice. More often than not, for a variety of reasons, behavioral health issues, drug abuse issues, people under the influence, um, it, we're seeing the violence on us now. Other departments in central Indiana have also added ballistic equipment in recent years. And it was put in place simply, you know, with the, the way the world's changing on us. The Wayne Township Fire Department purchased its vests and helmets roughly three years ago. Similar to Brownsburg, their vests offer protection against high-powered guns like AK-47s and AR-15s. It is now just kind of part of the uniform. Uh, fortunately, not an everyday event, but... It's nice to know if we need it, it's there. There's no way to be 100% safe, but we want to give people the chance to be as safe as we can. The state fire marshal and firefighters union say more and more departments are looking into getting these and will likely be adding them to their equipment in the near future. In Indianapolis, I'm Max Lewis, CBS4 News. Max, thank you. Brownsburg fire officials tell CBS4 they have this ballistic equipment. They will begin training with area police departments. The goal here is to allow them to respond more quickly to active shooter situations.